welcome back to the vlog. Okay, so full transparency, this vlog is going to be an absolute cluster with a very little timeline, except for the consistency of just like a shoe being built across the span of four days. So essentially what happened was that I started the vlog on Monday when I got laser hair removal. And so I vlogged that entire adventure and I was like, oh, I'll just wrap this vlog up by Wednesday before I start school on Thursday. That didn't happen. And so I was like, oh, okay, like no worries. I'll just tack on like the first couple days of school onto like the laser hair removal day And then I'll do like a shoe reveal at the end of school and it'll be totally fine Didn't do that either and then I just felt weird merging the whole school process Onto the same vlog as the laser hair removal because I just made a lot of new friends that are most likely gonna want to watch this video And then there's something like totally normal about a complete stranger watching the process of me getting my coot lasered <laughs> But like it's a little it feels different when it's someone that I just spent like the last Four times ten hours a day 40 hours with these past four days with see that as their first impression of me on this vlog channel So because I'm leaving for Cabo this week because it was Cabo inspired I'll tack that on the beginning of that vlog and this vlog can be dedicated to going to this school So again heads up. There is not much continuity the clip that you're about to watch I am scared shitless to start school So the energy shift between now and the next clip is going to be truly hilarious and I can't wait to watch it back but I want to say like this was such an incredible opportunity and experience I had so much fun it really was the perfect collaboration of two things that I love like DIY and creating and making things and also sneakers and spoiler alert my sneakers turned out bomb as fuck and if you follow me on Instagram you've probably already seen the sneaker reveal but either way the process has been so incredible I was mostly scared to vlog for the first three days because I didn't want people to think I was weird so I really only like vlogged talking portions on the fourth day which is today Day. But uh, that's kind of the recap of what this video is going to be. I have no idea what it's going to consist of I have no idea how much footage I have But I do know that I had a great time met some great people a lot of just like like-minded creatives Which is so much fun a lot of people that I'll probably continue being friends with after these past four days And also I'm just like overall very proud of myself for going outside of my comfort zone in such a big way You guys know that my anxiety at the beginning of this year was just absolutely fucked like could not leave the house level anxiety so being able to go into a room of strangers four days consecutively with like a 10 hour day on the clock is like a really intense and so I definitely had a few like anxious moments and anxious parts of this past four day journey but overall I'm just like happy to have gotten through it and still be mentally okay and also have had a great time so without further ado let's hop into it oh my god hello good morning it's day one of my sneaker class I think that I could be 45 years old and still feel the same nerves of like going back to school bitch I am so nervous <laughs> do I have a cool enough outfit did I bring everything that I need like will I be able to vlog the uncertainty is killing me so yeah I'm in the parking lot right now I saw some two sneaker bros and I'm just hoping that I'm not the only girl and that people are nice and I can make friends and that I'm not the worst of the class oh my god the self-doubt is so real this morning I am so nervous hi guys so um I am about to head over to a uh, certain school for day three and I'm having trouble formatting this video because day one and two I was too scared to vlog just because like I obviously like started making friends but like it was still like a weird thing where like people started finding out not finding out but like we eventually had to start talking about like what we do for a job and so now most of the class knows that I'm a youtuber so I feel like today and tomorrow will be like more normal to vlog but for day one and two I was mostly just vlogging the process and the different steps that I had completed just on my phone because I was being a big old baby about like shooting in class I just feel like no one wants to be that douchebag influencer like that is not how you make friends so I am going to insert all of the clips of the process that I filmed thus far Far, I think after this clip and then if I end up shooting more and stop being a baby about filming in front of people Then that will go after that legitimately I like have been awake at night being like how the fuck am I gonna make this vlog work? But this has legitimately been my life We've been having like almost 12 hour days like I kind of feel like I'm living in craftopia times I just like come home and I die and I go to bed and then I wake up and go back again But I am so obsessed with this class. It has been so much fun. I'm so obsessed with my shoe We have a long day again today to start piecing a lot of it together and then it's 
it's gonna be done by tomorrow. So I still don't really know what's to come in this vlog, but I wanna give you guys a tour of this space because this space is insane. It is stunning, like state of the art. So I'll probably be able to do that since that's like a little less weird than like vlogging like this, like with my arm out, like talking to the camera. I don't know, I don't know, I'm being a big old baby. No matter how many years you do YouTube for, it doesn't get less weird in front of strangers. So that is the update. And here is the process of the sneaker making class so far. Oh my god, hi guys, last day. Okay, didn't end up doing the tour yesterday, but it's the last day, final day of the class. Shoes are almost done, it's so crazy seeing them done. Let me give you a quick tour of the space. Literally, like, fuck real school. Like, I know like real school, you're forced to go and it's like not optional. This is the school. This right here is the school. Let me show you the space, it's so sick. Okay, so it's like a massive warehouse. There's this. The shoe surgeon did like a massive Jack Daniels collaboration, so there's like all this JV on the walls here. Oh my god, this is the nicest bar. Like, this is the school. School bar. Like, I guess it's not really a school bar, it's like a work bar. But here is this. This is like nicer than actual bars that I go to. Ping pong table, cornhole. We've got like all this seating over here. They've got these two like little pods this way. They're like massive workshop and stuff where like actual shoes get made. It's way back here. And then let me show you this crazy hallway. Okay, it's doing the weird lines thing, but. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so sick. Like this is the Instagram photo haul of all Instagram photo hauls. <laughs> Lighting is weird. Lighting is super weird, but so cool. I took a picture in this hallway yesterday and just like the lighting is so bomb. Obviously on video it's like really struggling since it's like fluorescent light and like basically if your frame rate on your camera is not matching the exact like wattage of these lights it does that weird flicker but the lighting for photos is so good. You've got side lighting, you've got up lighting which is called a hair light, you've got more side lighting like the lighting is so good. You've got your back light like it's out of control. The lighting is so good. And then you come around this way and this is where we we did all of our sewing and you've got all of like the swatches of like the leathers and the exotic so this is the exotic class so basically we have more options of like different print and textures so all of our sewing machines and like you guys know my fights with sewing machines constantly this is what a sneaker sewing machine looks like so you've got like way more space here to maneuver everything but otherwise everything is like shockingly similar the bobbin is in here and like the way you thread it you know goes up here up here up here and then this little piece here is like how you hold your or leather down right here so you can sew. And so shockingly, very similar. And I feel like there's definitely transferable skills. A lot of the guys in this class have not ever sewed before. So I feel like the few of us who have sewed were definitely at an advantage because it was kind of similar. We've got all of our lace colors and then these were the different options to like actually sew the shoe together. I don't think my color is that good. I think there's another wall of them somewhere, but so aesthetically pleasing. And then here is where we took the actual class and this is like a massive ass basketball court but here are all of the desks that we like learned everything so sick like this is a massive ass space here is the other side of the basketball court that we've been working on this was my desk right here goodbye desk our last day together it's a bittersweet goodbye and there is a demo happening over here we've got so many shoes that are almost done oh my god oh my god so the last steps we have to do are basically glue the sole on and i think there's like one more stitch we have to do and then we done one of the last steps 
in the process. Oh shit. Also, I'm the only person that's ever taken this class with a youth size, so love that for me. They look so little. They look so little. Fucking God, mama we made it. I literally cannot believe the last four days went from like nothing to this. My mind genuinely cannot process this. Oh my God. This is genuinely so insane. Okay, oh my God. There's definitely some imperfections if you start looking up real close, but like this is so crazy. It looks so real. It is real, it is real. I, I shouldn't discredit myself because it is real. Wow, what the fuck? Like this is fucking crazy. I, I think I'm just gonna not be over this for like my entire life. Gonna be honest, I just hit the stop recording button after filming the intro and so I have not watched any kind of edit. I'm just putting a little end cap on the video. I got a bunch of messages over these past four days about asking to recap the entire process and like when I tell you that the steps that go into making a sneaker are so incredibly complicated, tedious, in a really positive way, like so much fun and like loved the labor of it. But like it is not something that you could just recap in a video. Like these teachers were truly so incredible and so talented and so helpful would not have gotten anywhere near as solid of a first shoe as I did without everyone's help. So a massive thank you to everyone who helped along the way. I am so happy with my shoe. Also, I'm so dumb. We had an opportunity to name our shoe and I just did something stupid. I was just like Air Jordan 1 Lord DIY, like the incredibly unoriginal bitch that I am. I'm realizing now that my shoe is the exact color of moose and that was just a major missed opportunity for me to not name this. The Air Jordan Jordan 1 Moose. I think before we end the vlog, I need to hold the shoe up to Moose so that we can confirm this. We'll just end on a high note. Bubbies. Wow. Exact color match. Exact color match. Wow. This is officially the Air Force 1 High Top Moose. Wow. Wow. Wow! Wow! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we can officially end the vlog. It has been confirmed that I made a moose colored shoe subconsciously, did not realize. My two favorite things moose and a moose colored shoe. Okay, bye!